Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the online and offline events within JavaScript. So essentially, these events allow you to check whether or not the browser is online or offline. And then from there, you're able to do things such as display a message when the browser goes offline and then maybe even do a reconnection message that says, okay, we're back online. So let's make one of those right now. Okay, so I've got this basic HTML page right here, and currently it looks like this in the browser window. Alright, so let's add some events to this document. First off, let's make a paragraph element that's going to uh, say whether or not we are offline or offline. So let's give it an ID of something like OO, so online, offline, and then update. Okay, we can then reference this within JavaScript. Let's also add some styles. We'll say, um, we'll say style. Let's give it a, um, a text align of center and a font weight of bold just to make things look nice. Inside here, I'm going to type for now. Um, I'm not sure yet. All right. If I save this one, we get this in the browser. Refresh. We get boom, that right there. Okay. So let's make this text turn green and say we are online when the browser is online. So to do that, we're going to first check whether or not the browser is online when the page actually loads. So this is going to be before any events have fired off. So let's first get a reference to this OO update paragraph tag. So make a new constant called OO update equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in OO update. All right, from here, we can then simply check if the browser is online or offline. So we can say, okay, if navigator.online, that's a Boolean property. So if the browser is online, then we're going to say uh -oh, update.text content. We'll say we are online and also give it a nice and basic uh, text color. So style.color equals green. Okay. Saving this one gives us this result right here. We are online. Perfect. Now, to actually make these events happen, we can do so in the following manner. So, down here we can say um, add event listeners. Alright. And we can do this. We can say, alright window dot add event listener we're going to add a listener for the online event and this will be fired off whenever the browser reconnects all right so when it's online then we want to do the same thing as we did inside here so we'll just copy and paste that and put it inside this function okay now we can do a similar thing for the offline event so I'll copy and paste this and say offline. So when the browser goes offline, instead we're going to say um, we are offline with a sad face and make the text color appear to be red. And now we are all done. So if I save this one and then check the browser, we see we get the same result. But in Chrome, you can actually go inside the developer tools and you can virtually make your browser offline. Under the network tab, you can say, okay, tick the box for offline. You press that and we get that right there. We are offline. So in that case right there, the offline event was triggered and that happens. Okay. Back inside here, I can then untick this box and we get, we are now online. All right. So there, the online event was triggered. If I was to remove this if statement, okay, and save this one, refresh the browser, we get that. So that means that these events only fire off when the browser reconnects or when it goes offline. It doesn't actually, you know, fire this event when the page loads. That's why I need this at the beginning of that um, script tag. All right, boom. All right, 
and that is how you can use the online and offline events within JavaScript. Just keep in mind that this functionality might differ depending on what browser you're using. I'm using Chrome and it did this effect right here. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.